Hello everyone, my name is Nisha Nancy Daniels. I am an assistant professor of Faculty of Commerce and Management in Rama University, Kanpur. My topic for today is Secretarial duties relating to calls on shares. But before we begin with the duties, we need to understand the meaning of the calls. The call word means that calling for the amount which is due on the shares by the shareholder. The company demand the payment due on the shares uh, by the shareholder means when the shares are you know uh, offered to the public and the public you know purchase the shares the amount is raised from that so the shareholders have not paid the whole amount they have just paid the amount till the allotment of shares so some amount is due and this amount which is due on the uh, shares you know it is called by calls on shares so this is the meaning of calls on shares that the uh, share uh, the company is demanding for the money by the shareholders which is due on the shares now before we begin with the duties we need to understand what are the essentials of a valid call what are the important points that need to be uh, taken as uh, essentials for a valid call the first is resolution of the board the company cannot just ask for the amount which is due the company needs to uh, prepare a meeting he needs to uh, call a meeting and then they need to pass a resolution by the board of directors that the company has to uh, you know give a notice to the shareholders that this amount is due and for that they need to pass a resolution the next is as per the articles the calls which are being demanded which are being called by the company they should be according to the articles and if the articles of the company are silent about it then we consider table f Next is uniform basis. Now, when we are calling for the amount which is due on the shares, we need to see the shares should be of same class. They should be fall under the same class. So there should be a uniformity. Then next is time and place of payment. The board of directors have to mention the time and also the place of the payment before only they cannot just say Ki, today you have to make the payment uh, by two o'clock no you have to mention the time and place of the payment either uh, when you're passing the board resolution or uh, any other day but you have to mention it before before you call for the amount which is due now next important point we need to see is not more than one fourth of the total value of a share can be called Whatever the amount is due, you cannot call the whole amount in a one lump sum. You have to just see that one fourth of the total value of the share can be called. And the last important point that we'll see today is no two calls can be made within one month. You cannot call uh, for the amount which is due, you know, uh, within a one month time. You have to call the amount due by taking a gap of one month. So these were the essentials uh, which you need to be kept in mind while making the calls for the shares. Now uh, what are the duties of the company secretary? This was all about the calls and calls on shares but now we need to understand what is the role of the company secretary. Okay. So the first uh, duty is to arrange a board meeting. As we have discussed this earlier uh, also in our lecture that this is the duty of the company secretary to conduct the board meetings. So the company secretary will arrange a board meeting and then there all the board of directors will pass a board a resolution that this amount is due by a so and so shareholder and such amount needs to be called. So this is the first duty. Next is to prepare a call list. Now this is the duty of the company secretary to maintain a register and mentioning uh, the amount which is due by uh, the shareholders you know all the uh, he list all the amount which is due by the shareholders so this is called a call list so this is the duty of the company secretary to maintain or prepare a call list next is to prepare and send a call notice now see when uh, the amount is not paid by the shareholder so this is the duty of the company secretary to send a notice to the shareholders that 
your amount is due and you need to pay this amount by a specified time and date. You will mention uh, the date and time also in your notice. Next is to send a reminder letter. Now, first you have called the amount which is due. Now, if the shareholder has not paid the amount which is due, so you will send a reminder letter requesting them the amount now that this amount is due. So please uh, make the payment, make the payment by such and such date or such and such time. So this is the duty of company secretary to send a call notice, then to send a reminder letter or a call notice letter. Okay, then is to send a final reminder. Now the company secretary will send a final letter to the shareholders and the main important point that should be mentioned in the final reminder is that they will mention that the shares will be forfeited. If you will not pay the amount which is due on the shares, your shares will be forfeited. So this is the duty of the company secretary to uh, send the final rem reminder requesting again to pay the uh, payment which is due on the shares and also to remind them that if they will not pay the amount which is due on the shares, their shares will be forfeited. So thank you class for today and in the next topic we will discuss about the forfeiture of shares. Thank you.